हेलो एवरीवन हेलो हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग इज देर एनी प्रॉब्लम इन विथ नेटवर्क इन योर एरिया मेनी आर नॉट ज्वाइन टुडे विल डिस्कस ऑन अप्रोचेस ऑफ कम्युनिटी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड स्टेप्स ऑफ कम्युनिटी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन and the characteristics and skills of community organization uh, we will discuss uh, in social work in the community organization there is a three uh, kinds of approaches one is the social work approach second one is political activists approach third one is neighborhood maintenance or community development approach the first one the social work approach in this approach the society is viewed as a social organism and therefore the efforts are oriented towards building a sense of community when you approach this one the social work approach when you uh, follow this approach we viewed observed as a society as a social organism it is a living uh, being social organism and therefore the efforts are oriented towards building a sense of community a role is of the community organizer and enabler or an advocate helps the community to identify a problem in the neighborhood and strives to obtain the needed social resources by gathering the existing social services and by lobbying with those in power to meet the needs of the neighborhood you remember in social work approach so we as a social worker we viewed as a society as a social organism and we need to efforts are oriented towards building a sense of community this method is more consensual and the neighborhood is seen as a collective client one example of this approach is the social settlement uh, movement in usa 1800 the second one the political activists approach saul alensky the godfather saul alensky the godfather of community organization is the founder of this approach in the meaning political activist approach the basic philosophy of this approach is based on is thinking that the more the representatives of the organization the stronger the organization more members in the organization more representatives of the organization the the organization is very stronger in this approach the community is seen as political entity according to his views community is seen as a political entity in social work approach we viewed society as a social organism social organism means living creatures are living beings here society according to uh, saul alensky the community is seen as a political entity and not as a social organism he 
here the neighborhood is viewed as a potential power base capable of getting power the role of the community organizer is to help the community understand the problem in terms of power and the necessary steps are taken to mobilize the community in this approach the role of community organizer is to help the community and understand the problem in terms of power in social work approach community understand and improve the sense of community but here community understand the problem in the terms of power authority and the necessary steps are taken to mobilize the community since most of the community organizers come from outside the community it has faced the problems of inequality of power relations and leadership in the community for example i will appoint as a community organizer in nigeria or malawi at the particular situation i am outsider of your community in the particular contest i will face the problems of inequality of power relations when i appointed in your community then i again i face the problems of inequality power relationship within the community and a leadership in the community there is a uh, conflict within the community for leadership unlike social work approach to community organization this approach has the potential to create stable democratic and effective organizations of neighborhood residents by seeing it its role as a meeting power power unlike the social work approach this uh, to community organization this approach has the potential to create stable and democratic also and effective organizations of neighborhood residents so these are uh, the uh, two approaches the last one neighborhood and or community approach this approach has emerged out of both the previous approaches namely social work approach and political activist uh, within the same neighborhood movements the first two uh, approaches social work approach and political activist approach this approaches has merged out uh, of both these previous approaches the same is neighborhood or community approach it is seen in the form of civic associations we discussed earlier classes civic associations voluntary organizations we can observe this approach this association uses peer group pressure to provide services in the community the peer group they use the strategy to pressurize the officials to deliver service services to the community but sometimes this approach takes the form of political activist approach as they realize that their goal can be only achieved through confrontations for example when we approach this uh, community approach and neighborhood maintenance approach sometimes the this approach takes the form of political activist approach at that particular situation the group pressure group confront with the government or power center in this approach we see the characteristics of de emphasize on dissent and confrontation 
and these organizations view themselves more as a proactive and development minded so these three uh, approaches in community organization social work approach in social work approach community treated as a social organism in political activist approach we according to sol alenski community is a political entity in neighborhood maintenance or community approach these two approaches merged sometimes we uh, according to this approach pleasure groups to pressurize the officials to deliver services to the community community but sometimes this approach takes the form of political activist approach so why two two approaches merged this approach community organization as a macro method we discussed earlier in social work education we have six methods social case work social group work community organization these three are primary primary methods social welfare administration social action and social work research these three are auxiliary or secondary methods social case work and group work are micro methods community organization as a macro method how community organization as a macro method we will discuss the term micro macro is used because of its ability to involve a large number of people in solving the social problems i think all of you know micro and macro macro means why we use here community organization is a as a macro method why because its ability to involve a large number of people in the solving the social problems of the community it is a macro method because this method can be successfully implemented at local level of community means village level of community or district level of community or at state level and at regional levels of of the community or even at the international levels also so that's why community organization is a macro method of social work for example community organization can help in pollution control at local state regional national and international levels we know many uh, international uh, organ international levels uh, treaties is there un wo treaties is there g20 and other uh, international treaty all nations come together and work on solve the community problem like pollution control at international level all uh, countries work on uh, greenhouse effect or ozone effect other carbon emissions so international levels at local levels state level regional level national level and international levels also it has a macro method because unlike case work which deals with only one person at a time you know in next semester you will uh, learn and a group work which deals with a limited number of participants at the same time community organization deals with large number of people at any given time only case work deals with individuals group
group work which deals with limited group of uh, limited number of participants but in community organization community organization deals with large number of people and it and at any given time so that's why community organization as a macro method for example poverty cannot be solved by using individual approach like case work as there are any many or many people have affected by poverty for example in india the population of the country around 130 crores if we will use social case work approach in the context of eradication of poverty how many years it will take it will take lots of years why we will approach only one individual how it is possible how we will meet 130 120 crore people how many days it will take to eradicate poverty so in this context we will use this community organization method we cannot solve this um, problem poverty eradicate poverty using individual approach like case work individual approach is not practical where the magnitude of problem is coming while comparing other methods of social work community organization as macro method is useful for solving widespread economic and social problems like poverty for example in malawi or nigeria people are uh, suffering with facing poverty how to eradicate poverty in malawi or nigeria or uganda if we will approach social case work but we cannot solve within the uh, limited time it is not possible to solve this problem so in this context we apply this community organization method so that's why we are calling community organization is a macro method of social work yes why we are uh, calling community organization as a macro method got my point all of you if you have any doubts yes yes hello sir yes uh, so uh, uh, my understanding about the community organization uh, as a micro is that macro uh, macro yes mic micro the community macro. should M -E -S -S -R. Uh, okay uh, and my own understanding about it is that the community shall uh, be a possible way, uh, whatever way, in order to uh, help themselves out of some problems, maybe by applying social, uh, by applying uh, casework. I, I think casework. Oh. Any more? In which context, in which context we apply the method community organization? Yes, Abdullah. 
Yeah, yes, sir. I think um, if you're talking about the community organization, uh, it's a kind of organization whereby uh, where people in a given environment or uh, in a given state or environment join hand together in order to solve their, uh, their, their, their problem within their domain. Understand? For example, so as we mentioned, we have macro and micro community organization. The macro community organization is dealing with the wider environment where the total population of the people in a given environment join together in order to solve the problem within their territory. While you are talking about the micro, you are talking about the small unit, understand, that they can have access to solve their problem within their domain or ter territory. So I think that's what I understand about your this, uh, lecture today, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, very good. Very good. Macro method means simply we apply this method in the context of large people, large number of people suffering with the problem. In the, in the particular context, we apply community organization. For example, only few minimum number of the people, for example, psychological people who are suffering with psychological problem in Nigeria or Malawi, Uganda, we can apply social casework method. Why? For example, in Malawi, one crore population is there. For example, I am saying only 1000 people are suffering with psychological problem or mental health problem. In that in the particular context, we apply only social casework. Why only 1000 out of 1 crore is minimum number. This is micro level casework. In the, in the context of community organization, I am I'm taking one more example, poverty. Out of 1 crore population, 50%, around 50 lakh people suffering with poverty in the in the particular context as a social worker as a community organizer we need to apply we need to apply community organization method why the number of candidates or population size is bigger in the particular context we use community organization so that's why community organization is a macro method. I think all of you got my point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got it. Okay. Any more? Okay. Uh, while comparing other methods of social work, community organization as a as a as micro macro method is useful for solving widespread economic and social problems like poverty. Like uh, underdeveloped and developing countries are facing economic and social problems like poverty, unemployment, environmental issues, education, health. In the particular situation, we will apply this method community organization. So that's why community organization is very important. It is very useful for solving widespread economic and social problems then community organization has a problem solving method why community organization as a problem solving method community organization solve the community problems and fulfill the needs of the community 
many of the community problems like social injustice poverty inadequate housing poor nutrition lack of health lack of medical services unemployment pollution exploit pollution exploitation bonded labor system system bonded labor system dowry female infanticide women and child trafficking drug trafficking etc can be solved by using community organization method in problem solving generally there are three basic aspects these are study diagnosis and treatment three basic aspects are study diagnosis and treatment first the problem has to be studied for this we have to collect information regarding the problem for example i am taking uh one example from um, nigeria or malawi nigeria i want to study problems in nigeria first the problem has to be studied by me for this i have to collect information regarding the problem in nigeria first i have to do collect information regarding the problem what is which problem i am identifying poverty is a major problem in nigeria once i uh, collect information regarding the problem poverty from the information collected we have to identify the main causes this is called diagnosis first i collect the information about uh, problem Uh, like poverty and then from the information collected i have to identify the main causes why poverty is there in nigeria what are the causes for poverty why poverty is increasing in nigeria what, what are the causes this is called diagnosis based on the findings or diagnosis a solution is evolved that is called treatment once i find out the causes of the poverty then how i will overcome then how to reduce how to eradicate poverty in nigeria simply if when you will suffering with any uh, health problem if you consult a doctor doctor will ask you what is your problem if you can say sir i am suffering with uh, fever or headache then after that doctor give suggestion to do some diagnosis test blood test urine test or any other test after diagnosis doctor find out you are suffering with typhoid fever or malaria fever then after that doctor will give treatment based on your problem like if you are uh, after your diagnosis doctor find out you are suffering with uh, malaria based on your uh, 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 diagnosis doctor give treatment to you so in community organization three basic aspects one is identifying the problem or st uh, study diagnosis and treatment study diagnosis and treatment all of you remember these three basic aspects are very important we consider this model as medical model because doctors study the patient to find out the causes for illness and based on finding treatment treatment 
then based on your problem doctor will um, suggest you do some uh, diagnosis or test whether you in our blood test based on diagnosis based on your reports blood reports doctor will give treatment for your health problem so that's why we consider this model community organization model this model as a medical model problems can be solved only with the with involvement of people for which resources are mobilized to solve the problems here you remember whenever you speak about community organization you remember people here also problems can be solved only with the involvement of people for which resources are mobilized to solve the problems they know how to solve their the community problems better than social worker or community organizer this method is speci specially applicable in specific situations like large number of people are affected by poverty or other poverty related problems which need speedy solutions for this community organization as a problem solving method is most effective to solve community problems for example suppose people in certain area suffer due to lack of water for their cultivation for example in your country either malawi or nigeria or uganda somalia sudan due to lack of water for the cultivation what you will do as a community organizer in the community with the help of the community organizer and people's participation watersheds can be made and ground water level can be increased this is one uh, solution for uh, improve the water levels in your community or in your locality when we uh, with the help of community organizer and people's participation in malawi or nigeria the particular community in one village community organizer and people's participation watersheds can be made and ground ground water level can be increased i think all of you know watershed we conserve the rain water conservation and uh, storage of rain water through watersheds water stored during rainy rainy season can help the people to continue cultivation only few i think uh, in india only few months rainy season water is available what about the remaining 6 to 7 9 months only around 3 to 3 uh, to 6 months there is a water uh, rainy uh, rain uh, rainy season in india i think in uh, african countries also water stored during rainy season can help the people to continue cultivation when we construct water sheds once we store the water in water sheds then we will use the waters uh, water in uh, when we stored during rainy season then after we utilize the uh, water for cultivation after rainy season also here the whole village problem is related with water for irrigation and drinking purpose in your village the entire whole village problem is related with water for irrigation 
and drinking purpose which can be solved by using community organization method for example in each and every one i think in your village people facing this problem sir do, uh, lack of water for the cultivation and drinking purpose in the particular situation you can also build watershed constructions dam mini dams and watersheds watersheds you you store the water during rainy season it can help you and your community to continue cultivation and for the drinking water uh, for drinking uh, facility also here the whole village problem is related with water for the cultivation and drinking purpose which can be solved by using community organization method if you have any experiences if anyone have observed the this type of uh, community organization practices in your country have you seen any organization has practiced in your locality or in your community not only for this water uh, lack of water problem or any other social So, oh, class, what's going on? Hello, I'm out there. What's going on, please? Should it be a network, bro? <clears throat> all right, all right. Thank you. Sorry for the inconvenience uh, due to network issue. I uh, disconnected. Okay. Am I audible? Yes, sir. You are audible. Yes. Do you have any experiences in your community? Have you seen any uh, programs? in your community like poverty eradication program or any other social problem have you imagined any social problem in your community
Yes. Yeah, uh, yes, sir. For, for example, here in Nigeria, uh, we are experiencing such kind of problems. Uh, uh, for example, now, most efficient, you will see farmers, they need to be insist. For example, in terms of fertilizer, and um, uh, in terms of the chemicals that they can use to farm, but unfortunately, they, are, they then used to have that. And uh, but uh, there are some one uh, non-governmental organization, which is um, uh, Mukoma Gona in our language. They usually used to, you know, uh, 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 give some understand some some fertilizers for the farmers in order to assist them, you know, to have uh, more comfortable in their own farming activities. Contribution. Very good. Any more? Okay. <clears throat> then, uh, with the help of community organizer and people's participation, we can do work in the community without people's participation we cannot do any work or any activity in the community so in the community organization you remember who are the members in the community they must involve in this In the whatever program designed by community members. Community organization and community development. So far we discussed uh, community organization, community organization principles, models, community organization approaches and uh, how community organization as a method of uh, macro method and how community organization as a problem solving method now we will discuss community organization and community development community organization and community development are interrelated these two are interrelated to achieve the goals of community development the community organization method is used when you to achieve the goals of community development, the community organization method is used. According to United Nations, community development deals with the total development of a developing country, that is their economic, physical and social aspects. The same aspects are also considered important for community organization. There are democratic procedures, both in the community organization and community development, we follow democratic procedures. And yesterday we discussed voluntary cooperation in the community members. And self-help and mutual, mutual help within the community members. Development of leadership. For example, when you work with community as a community organizer you need to develop need develop a leadership within the community within the community members and educational aspects these all are um, important for community organization and as and also in community development community organization and community development the community organization and community development are interrelated and mutually supportive. There are no opposing aspects in between community organization and community development as both emphasize democratic method and self-help principles, both in community organization and community development. 
focus or emphasize the democratic method and self help principle in the community organization we can see self help in community development also self help can see there are many similarities between community organization and community development what are the similarities um, is there but for theoretical purpose it is possible to different differentiate community organization and communication uh, community development there is some differentiate community organization and community development but for the theoretical purposes first one community organization is a method of social work but community development is a program for a planned change simply so uh, we are discussing from yesterday onwards community organization is a method of social work it is like a method like social case work group work third one community organization community organization is a method of social work but community development is a program for planned change for example women empowerment in the particular uh, uh, context government plan one women empowerment program provide some financial assistance to the women who will establish industry or companies or factories why the government frame the particular development program for the empowerment of women here community development is very clear community development is a program for a planned change what is here uh, what is the main um, focus is here empowerment of women how they will empowerment government design one program for empowerment of women provide some financial assistance to the women so when the government frame the particular program for a planned change so here very clear community organization is a method of social work community development is a program for a planned change community organization emphasizes the process but community development emphasizes the end or goals community organization emphasizes or the focus the process how it is going how people are involving in the in the participation in the planning in the implementation but in the community development emphasizes the end or goals after implementing of uh, empowerment of women women empowerment program our goal is out of 100 people out of 100 women minimum 60 women need to empower in your community your community development program goal is very clear so here your goal is out of 160 women establish one industry or factory so this is your goal but in community organization our goal is very clear we need we need to participate in, we need to organize and involving all the women in our community organization program this is process community organization emphasizes our focus on the process community development emphasizes on the end or goals community organizers are mostly social workers and social change agents in community organization social workers mostly social workers and social agents but in the community develop community development personnel can be from other professions 
including agriculture experts veterinary experts and other technical experts and the government or uh, officers also community organization is not time bound community organization is not time bound it is achieved step by step according to the pace of the people so far we discussed regarding eradication of poverty in nigeria or malawi we when we will uh, use this community organization method it will take lot of time first we provide education and then we provide some employment opportunities at a time we cannot provide employment opportunities to few uh, 50 lakh people in nigeria so it is achieved step by step according to the pace of the people but community development is time bound and time is specified for achieving the development of the goal in community organization people's participation is important we discussed in your community in your village in your community people are uh, suffering with lack of water supply for cultivation in a particular context your your community people come together and construct one watershed and based on watershed structure store the water rain water during rainy season in the in the entire scenario people's participation is very important so in community organization people's participation is very important but in community development people's development is important women empowerment our ultimate goal is women empowerment here our goal is people's development is very important not not participation in community organization assistance from government and external agencies are not important or needed for example you in your community you can constructed watershed structure or one one small dam for storage of water rain water for rain water storage your community constructed uh, watershed without assistance from government or non governmental agencies if government will provide an assistance you can take but it is not compulsory in the community organization assistance from government and external agencies are not important or needed but in community development external assistance from the government or other agencies is considered important in your village or in your community government is planning to empowerment of women fully funded by the government external assistance from the government here it is considered very important in community organization assistance from the government or any other agencies not compulsory or not important or not needed but unlike community organization community development is considered as process method program and movement for planned change community organization is used in all the fields but community development is is used mostly in economic development and for the development of living standards of the people community organization is used in all fields it is used in all fields we discussed many fields like health medical services unemployment pollution exploitation bonded labor racial exploit 
racial discrimination, female infanticide, child trafficking, woman trafficking, drug, drug trafficking, all uh, social problems, community problems. But in community development is used mostly in economic development and for the development of living standards of the people. So for we are discussing, we are discussing about women empowerment here clearly women empowerment means empowerment, economic development, economic development of women and for the development of living standards of the people here living standards of women. So here clearly community development is used mostly in economic point of view, economic development and for the development of living standards of the people. In community organization, planning is initi initiated by the people through their participation. In your community, planning is initiated by your community members, your community people come together and initiated planning by you only means your community people but in community development planning is carried out by the external agency mostly by the government when woman literacy rate is very less in your community when government find out identify the problem in your community government will come and plan provide some education to the girl child in your com community this is called community development planning here there is no participation of community government planned and implemented in the community development planning there is no involvement of community people community organization is universal to all all communities for example in the urban community you can you can use this community organization method you can use in rural community you can use in tribal communities it is universal to all communities this is not only for oh, only urban community this is not this this community organization is uh, only for uh, tribal not not for urban so th there is no restriction community organization is universal to all communities we can implement this method in rural community, urban community and tribal community. But community development programs differ from people to people depending upon whether the area is rural, urban, tribal and other characteristics of the area. Based on the characteristics of the area, community development program um, plan so here very uh, very clear community organization there is a similarities between community organization and community development regarding this theory there is a differences between community organization and community development. If you have any doubts, please um, uh, yeah, it's, uh, uh, for uh, based yes. on my own understanding. Based yes. on my own understanding in the new sheet, uh, if you are talking about the uh, community organization, I think um, before you develop
was organized. The things are reciprocal, yeah. one after the other. According to my understanding, once you organize something according to the way it's supposed to be, definitely a rapid development will be coming to your community. For example, uh, in, a, in a situation whereby, uh, for example, listen, the, those people that are living in the village here in Nigeria, uh, they must have access to school before you have right to, to assist them. This, assist, this assessment, uh, you know, is, is, is a community development. Unlike the other environment, whereby they, they don't have even interest on the, on the schooling. I hope you understand me. So that is why, according to my understanding, I don't know whether I'm right or not, community organization, it, it drives a community development, it drives from the community organization. Hand have hand. you are, yes, have you are understand community organization and community development? When community organization is applied in when community development is applied. In which yeah, context you, we, we use community organization, who will initiate community organization and who will initiate community development. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't get your, your question. No, no. Who will initiate community organization and who will initiate community development? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, this, uh, I think, um, uh, in terms of initiation, it, uh, uh, until where why the environment need to assist. When the environment, uh, like they want to assist, definitely these thing, this two, do this uh, two things must take place. Okay. Any, any more? Anas, Buba? Okay. Next important uh, uh, content, steps of community organization. <clears throat> community organization, so far, uh, now we are discussing about community organization, principles, models, approaches, and community organization as a macro method, similarities and differentiate between community organization and community development. What are the steps in community organization? How we will practice? For example, after completion of your course, you will appoint as a social worker in one particular organization. Your organization will appoint at one community. The community is facing one social problem like literacy. Literacy rate is very low in a particular uh, community. So how you will improve literacy rate in your community where you have appointed so we will discuss the steps from from starting to ending how we will start the steps to implement to apply this method community organization in your community you feel all of you feel you are the community organizer you are the just you feel you are the social worker or community organizer at one organization so once you feel community organizer community organizer the steps of community organization are 
discussed in the following uh, uh, steps. First, when you appoint as a community organizer or social worker in the particular community, for example, action aid, action aid. Your organization appointed at one particular community, particular village. First, you need to assessment of needs and problems of the particular community. Once you allotted to the particular community, you assessment of needs and problems of the community. As a social worker, the basic step is in community organization is to identify or find out, analyze the analyze and understand the needs and problems of the community. This is the first step. Identify, analyze and understand the needs and problems of the community. Community organizer has to know about the needs and problems. As a community organizer, you have to know about the needs and problems of the community. At the same time, you have to enable the people to make assessment of the needs and problems. In order to do this, the community members have to come forward and express their views for further action individually or collectively. Once you identify the problem as a community organizer, in order to this, the community members who are staying, who are residing within the community, the community members have to come forward and express their views for further action individually or collectively. So as a community organizer, you must identify, analyze and understand the needs and problems of the community. Second one, list the problems. First, you identify and analyze, identify, analyze and understand the problems. You have identified in your, where you are working, you have identified number of, you have, you have identified need, needs and problems of the community are listed. Number of problems you have identified. Community with the help of the community organizer. Community people, they they can identify their problems with the help of community organizer like you. Your community identified their problems with your help. This is a process which makes the people to understand their own situation. If you identify the problem, you can understand the community problem. But people, they did not know. When they identify needs and problems of their community people, they make which makes the people to understand their own situation. Why the problem is there? The involvement of the community in identifying the various needs and problems will increase the participation of the people. If the involvement of the community in identifying the various needs and problems will increase the participation of the people. For example, uh, you, you, you are working with particular community. People, they themselves identify their community needs and problems will increase the participation of the people. If you identify, no one will come. You identify yourself, just you, you write down the problems of the community. But as a social worker, you support the community. They themselves identify their list of the list the problems give priorities all the needs and problems cannot be considered together for the for further action you identified number of problems all problems cannot be considered together for further action one by one step by step we will uh, solve the problems therefore all the needs and problems are analyzed for its severity magnitude, symptoms and causes based on 
which they are ordered and priority is given to the needs and problems. We find out number of problems. With their order, we as a social worker and community people, priority is given to the needs and problems of the community after having identified, identified the needs and problems, analyze them and give priority and the order in which they have to taken up for further actions. Select a problem. From the priority list, the most urgent problem which needs to be taken up immediately is selected. We find out number of problems in your community. You are working as a community organizer. You have identified number of problems community is facing. From the list, from the priority list, the most urgent problem which needs to be taken up immediately is selected. All the problems cannot be approached simultaneously. Therefore, there is need to need for selecting any one problem is to initiate further action. As a community organizer, as a social worker, you have identified with the support of community uh, members, you have identified number of problems. Poverty, illiteracy, malnutrition, and lack of water facility for, for cultivation and drinking. You have identified number of problems. But here, you remember, select, a, select one particular problem. Why? All the problems cannot be approached simultaneously. We cannot solve. Therefore, there is a need for selecting any one problem to initiate further action. First, you start with one problem. Based on the order of priority, the first in the list is taken up for working out solutions. Once finalize the problem, select the problem, then redefine the problem. Sir, I think you have doubt, one doubt. Once we select a problem, and then what is the need of redefine of the problem? Yes, redefine is very important. This selected problem is redefined for better understanding by the community. For better planning, the problem has to be analyzed and defined before taking any further step in addressing the problem. Does it affect the normal functioning of the community? You have identified number of problems, but you have selected only one problem. The particular problem affect the normal functioning of the community. Just you uh, check how many people are being affected. How are they affected? If nothing is done towards this, how it will disturb the community. So these are some of the questions by which we can easily analyze and redefining the problem. For example, you have identified number of problems like women, uh, women uh, participation in election and uh, illiteracy, poverty, water scarcity lack of water um, problem, lack of water for cultivation. Out of these problems, you find out one problem is uh, participation of women in uh, contesting election. Just you check this particular problem affect the normal functioning of the community in your uh, in your community. Just you ask question within the community with the support of community organizer. You, you can support your community. Just you, you raise question, how many people are being affected 
by uh, uh, lack of participation in election how are they affected there is no effect what is the genuine problem in your community lack of water for cultivation and drinking is very important in the emergent in the particular list so once select the problem just you redefine recheck the problem is it right or wrong this is this is a genuine genuine problem in the community or not yes. anyone can say something about if you have any doubts many times uh, either ngos when implementing community organization they are they are missing the uh, genuine problem sometimes they are taking their own way if you have any uh, experiences or you can uh, can you say something about the steps how you are understanding Uh, everything is okay, sir. Go ahead. Any more? Okay. First up. First, we uh, assessment of needs and problems. Then list the problems and uh, give priorities. Then select the problem and redefine the problem and then formulate achievable objective. Once the redefined redefined problem is converted into achievable objectives. as a community organizer you identified and prioritize redefined the problem with the support of community then after the redefined the problem is converted into achievable objectives how the problem will solve it is converted into object achievable objectives for example literacy will which will be considered for further action at times the objectives have to be split into many parts the objectives have to be split into many parts so that they could be converted into programs and activities towards fulfilling the needs and solving problems let us assume that literacy is a problem in in a community all your uh, in our um, session 716 is there all you are the community organizers for example let us assume that literacy is illiteracy is a problem in your community as a community organizer it is further analyze that majority of the people of the locality have not gone to school in their childhood you identified one of the reasons for that was that there was no school in their locality you identified as a community organizer that majority of people of the community or locality have not go, gone to school in their childhood so that's why literacy is rate is very low illiteracy is a problem where you are working as a community organizer or social worker yet present a school has been constructed and teachers are appointed earlier there was no school so that's why illiteracy is a problem but at present 
a school has been constructed and teachers are appointed at the particular commun community. Now, non-availability of the school is not the reason for illiteracy. In the particular community where you are working, non-availability is not the reason for illiteracy. What is the reason? Few years back, there is no school. <clears throat> that, that's why many were not go to school. So that's why illiteracy is a problem. But now non-availability of the school is not the reason for illiteracy. What is the reason? It is further analyzed and found that the children are not sent to the school. Family, parents are not sending their children to the school. Though there were many children in the school going age, the parents don't send them to school because the teachers are not regular on the one hand and other when the teachers are present, they don't teach the children. When we find out the problem, illiteracy, earlier there was no school, so that's why people did not go to school. Is, the, is there a problem? Now school is there, even though illiteracy is the problem. Now we find out, now we found that the children are not sent to the school. School is there. Earlier there is no school, so that's why illiteracy is the problem. Now school is there, but even, even though students are not sent to the school by their parents. Why? There were many children in the school uh, going age, the parents don't send them to the school because the teachers are not regular on the one hand, even though on the other hand, when the teachers are present, they don't teach the children. In the situation, the general problem externally appears to be illiteracy, but its root cause is defective functioning of the school. In a particular situation, the general problem externally appears to the illiteracy. Just as a social worker, community organizer, or community organizer, it appears to the illiteracy is the problem. But its root cause is the defective functioning of the school. It is the problem of parents, it is the not problem of children. It is the problem of defective functioning of the school. This is a problem. Illiteracy is an art problem. Because of def defective functioning of the school, the illiteracy problem is raised. So, formulate uh, achievable objectives here is very important. And work out the alternatives. You find out the needs. And you, you identify the problem, you, say, you prioritize the problem, you select the problem, you redefine the problem, and formulate the objectives, and then work out the alternatives. Based on the objectives, the different ways and means are to be found out, found out by the community through brainstorming. In your community, you have identified needs and then you prioritize you prioritize the list and you 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 find out the problem as well. Illiteracy is the problem, then redefine the problem, then formulation, formulate you formulate you achievable objectives, then work out the alternatives. In the particular context, you discuss with your community through brainstorming how to overcome the problem illiteracy. They know, community people know how to overcome the problem. 
earlier there was no school so that's why literacy is the, uh, uh, illiteracy is the problem after that school is there but teachers one hand teachers is not uh, coming to the school and other hand if they come to school but they are not taking classes so this is the problem the different ways and means are to be found out by the community through brainstorming you community organizer sit with community people and brainstorming with the community in order to solve the selected problem the community has to generate maximum number of alternatives to address the problem the community has to generate maximum number of alternatives to address the problem they know community people know how to address the problem how to solve the problem why they are the sufferers they are facing the problem they know how to solve the problem let us to take the problem of illiteracy the same problem we are discussing illiteracy as stated in the previous stage how do we solve the problem the problem is directly related to the defective functioning of the school here clearly defective functioning of the school either teachers or school function is whatever what are the different ways to solve this here we find out we found out that defective functioning of the school is the problem directly related to the directly related what are the different ways to solve this problem the concerned teachers can be met and advised one way is as a community members community organizer together and brainstorming they your community and you decided that meet with teachers and advise them to take class every day and students will come regularly this is one objective the defective functioning can be brought to the notice of higher authorities in different ways one is community people and community people concerned um, meet concerned teachers and advise them and then the defective functioning can be brought to the notice of the government higher authorities in different ways represent as a community members you write one letter representation to the higher authorities in different ways who are looking the education department write your community details uh, in my in my community teachers are not taking class in my village in my community so take some um, necessary action and provide education to the children in my community as a community members these these are the two two alternatives the higher authorities can can be met by representatives with a written representation or various other alternatives may be tried either you um, meet higher authorities or written representation or various other alternatives may be tried motivate more children to join the school withdraw all the children from the school close the school organize a protest march organize a hunger strike etc one one side you as a community organizer community will request teachers for taking regular class and another side you represent community will represent to the higher authorities then another way another alternative is motivate more children to join the school withdraw all the children from the school and come together and protest against protest march organize a hunger strike against defunctioning of school 
the functioning of school. This is another alternative. There could be many such alternatives to pinpoint attention on the problem and initiate direct action to solve the problems on a long term basis. You can find out when number of alternatives to pinpoint attention on the problem and initiate direct action to solve the problems on a long term basis. Now, new forms of protest are protests are all are in place which don't cause any public inconvenience uh, singing and dancing are the example for such forms of pro protests either give representation to higher authorities or protest or march this is olden uh, practice now nowadays dancing singing is the alternative other alternatives to express their uh, views express their uh, problems if you have any ex experiences express your feelings through higher authorities or any other uh, uh, organization are you aware about these type of practices either protest or march or either representation or either request from your side your community side if you have any experience i will see these type of practices in your community please free all of you speak something about your experience yes uh yeah yeah for for example see here in nigeria we have one organization which is known as Watchdog, which is popularly known as Public Complaint Commission. Anywhere you find a problems, whether education problems, whether health issue, whatsoever problems you have right, you know, to go and get to get to, to go and make a report for them. That is public complaint commission here in Nigeria. Any more? Today no one is speaking. Yes. And uh, and more again, sir. I there was uh, there was once a time that I went to one village near uh, uh, in Nigeria in Bochi State, which is popularly known as Bajar Ward. Uh, actually. Based on the case study I experienced there, uh, you know, there are a school there, but uh, the students there, they are not liking to educate. They are pathetic in education. I don't know why. I don't know why. Because if you go there, definitely you will see teachers in the class waiting for the student while there is no student in the class. Some they went to Hawking, they went to selling something in the market. So they went to the farm, they disregard of schooling all these kind of things. So as a social worker, or as I, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, 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 and, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 environment uh, uh, organizer. How shall I attempt to this case study, sir? Am I going to go straightly direct to the class teacher, or am I going to go straightly or direct the bleach head on, on that bleach? Where are the technicalities? What are the way? Can I follow in order to eradicate such kind of problems that we are experiencing, most especially in Nigeria? Any more? Uh, I have one experience. I have, I have one personal experience. Uh, I have seen one uh, village. In the village, the community people, the same problem like uh, teachers are not coming, they are not coming regularly and if they come, but they are not, uh, on time they are not coming. In the particular context, the villagers, the community come together and decided that 
they want they wanted to meet teachers when they will come late when they will come late they will give some uh, representation in the name of give some flower bouquets to the flower bouquets to the teachers who are coming late the community people very next day they visit the school their children where they are where they are children is studying the community leaders and community people visit the school they bring they 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 brought with some flower bouquets and and handed over to the teachers who were coming school late this was captured by media people very next day all newspapers covered the news even electronic media also covered the news it was covered like parents of the particular school has given flower bouquets to the teachers who were coming coming late to the schools after the spread of the news the higher authorities taken action against the particular teachers who who were coming late every day to the school so this is my uh, personal experience i have observed if you have any uh, experiences if you you can also share yes yes yeah uh, uh, especially here in malawi Mm, yes. uh, exactly yes. where I am uh, in our community, um, our schools they are there, teachers are there, but resources like um, textbooks, we can find that the, the whole class, they are using only one book. So I can say that the, that is another problem that I have faced through my own experience. Yes, why i am giving uh, this example here is all of you remember alternatives how to reach our objective you find out the alternatives from your problem here you we are uh, focusing on illiteracy in in this particular problem first we represent teachers from the community side the second way second uh, second alternative is representation to the higher authorities from community the third alternate is protest against the particular um, uh, problem so th these are the uh, alternatives then select an appropriate alternative we uh, so uh, we are discussing alternatives within alternative first one is we uh, met and advised to the teachers is one alternative representation to higher authorities another alternative third one is protest is the third alternative fourth alternative is and uh, uh, demonstration in the different ways like singing and dancing so the here we uh, find out four alternatives out of four alternatives we select an appropriate alternative among the proposed alternatives one of the best alternatives is selected for tackling the selected problem to solve a problem there could be many ways but there may be one best and most suitable way or method by which the problem could be easily solved such option should be selected while selecting an alternative one has to start with softer approach and in a sequence you remember the alternative is very softer approach and 
in a sequence manner. For example, involvement of local community is important. In this context, as higher officials will not available all the times, therefore, involvement of community members through formation of uh, com com committee to monitor the school. Work out a plan of action. Out of number of alternatives, you select one particular alternate, then work out a plan of action. In order to realize the selected alternative, an action plan is proposed in which the responsibilities are assigned and a tentative organizational structure is prepared. Out of number of alternatives, an action plan is proposed in which the responsibilities are assigned and a tentative organizational structure is prepared based on your alternative. The time frame, resources need, uh, needed and personal involved are decide, decided at this stage. For example, out of our four alternatives, we select one alternative is representation to the higher authorities is our our uh, alternate our plan here time frame when we will represent to the higher authorities what are what are the resources are needed or required in this alternate and the personal involved are decided in this stage who will represent who will speak supposing the literacy problem of community is to be taken for, for taken up first it may be decided to meet the authorities and present a petition we finalize our uh, alternate what is alternate um, to meet the authorities and represent a petition this is our alternate <clears throat> this has to be discussed at length in order to decide about the date time number of participants venue etc of the meeting in nigeria or malawi in our community you decided that you represent your problem to the higher authorities in the context you have you have to decide length in order to decide about the date when you will meet and what time you will meet and how many people will meet the higher authorities and where you will meet at etc of the meeting so this is detailed workout of a plan of action and also at the time of meeting the authorities who is to speak for example in your community 100 people is there out of 100 only one or two can speak majority they cannot speak with authorities they don't have any experience they don't have any previous experience how to speak with the authority so as a community organizer to identify who will speak with authority before representing and what to speak okay we you finalize out of 100 two people you find out uh, the particular two persons will speak then what to speak then how to speak what they will speak they will speak about the illiteracy why illiteracy is uh, is there in the particular community defunctioning of defunctioning of school then how to speak will have to be decided early and role play and sufficient practice has to be done in a perfect manner in order to get the desired results. Five minutes. Uh, I'm in class. I will come after five minutes. Where? Oh. Uh, uh, 
ओके ओके आई विल कम आई विल कम सो व्हेन यू विल विजिट व्हेन यू विल मीट हायर अथॉरिटीज बिफोर यू हैव टू रोल प्ले एंड सफिशिएंट प्रैक्टिस हैज टू बी डन इन अ परफेक्ट मैनर इन ऑर्डर टू गेट द डिजायर्ड रिजल्ट्स अदरवाइज जस्ट without any preparation without any rehearsal direct you go and uh, when you will go and give representation and you will speak sometimes it, you cannot speak so that's why when you will visit the when you will meet the uh, authorities before that you uh, need to role play and sufficient practice has to be done in a perfect manner so this is very important plan of action then mobilization of resources in the particular situation which type of resources you have required just you to implement the plan of action the required resources have to be assessed identified and mobilized the resources may be in terms of time money manpower and material resources means not only money in your community people come and spend their time is also very important human, human resource time is very important resource man power and material is also very important not resource means not only money man power and time is also very important resources generally in social work we feel money and material is important no money not only money and material but also time and man power is also very important human uh, resources an estimate is made and it the sources are identified for mobilization sometimes we can provide some money but we cannot form group particular situation many a time manpower resources alone may help to arrive at a solution therefore the community has to have a thorough understanding of the uses of a manpower due to which people by themselves may come forward to offer themselves for further action apart from this any other resource that can be mobilized inter internally has to be explored and if it is not possible when only then plan needs to be made to mobilize these from external sources first you find out the resources within the community after the, after that if you cannot identify any resources within the community then you go for outside means external resources then implementing the plan of action after having made a plan of action along with the resources the plan is implemented the implementation takes care uh, of the time and the resources towards fulfilling uh, the fixed goals then evaluate the action once you implement the uh, plan then after that the implemented plan is evaluated to find out the success and deviation of the action again is the objectives uh, in evaluation is very important in social work why because how to community response to the particular program or policy where we are we prepared some policy we prepared some uh, uh, program by the community it was implemented or not if implemented how many are benefited from this the particular program or policy we reached our goal or not so once we evaluate the action evaluate our program we know the real picture of 
real picture of our program either any shortfall or any undesired results are identified and the reasons for the deviance are discussed we framed some policy or program any program or any policy 100% uh, we cannot reach there is merits and demerits we cannot uh, learn for our program without any evolution once we evaluate our plan we can find out the we can find out some uh, reasons we can find out some um, uh, um, demerits why it was not successful so the evaluation can be made as an ongoing component of working with the community it it could be organized either at periodical level or at the end of the activity either within the organization by the organization personnel or by an outsider or an expert the task is not complete unless the evaluation is complete either evaluation sometimes within the within the organization inside evaluation sometimes evaluation by the outside expert which find out some problems with the uh, organization we prepared our program and policy we cannot identify our problem so after evaluation we uh, we can found uh, the problems after implementation of the program and policy modification based on the evaluation necessary modifications are decided and introduced then continuation the modified action plan is implemented and continued then select the next problem once the selected need is fulfilled the next problem is selected from the priority list in your community you have identified number of problems and uh, you have identified needs in your community first you have taken a uh, literacy, literacy problem once your selected need or problem is fulfilled then next problem is selected. 